Hello, and welcome to a figure review of the Adventure Time Collector's Pack, uh, the Marceline and Finn version. Um, it's been a while since I've done a figure review, and so I thought I'd begin again with a new series of figures that I've not actually collected yet, or started collecting until now, and that is the Adventure Time figures. Um, now, admittedly, I've not been a fan of Adventure Time for massively long. I've watched the first 15 episodes from season 1, so I'm not exactly a hardcore fan, at least not yet. But, in that time, I have managed to, um, well, essentially, you know, figure out who my favourite character is, uh, namely Marceline. And Finn is pretty damn cool as well, so when I saw this... I you know, thought, yeah, why, why the hell not? I like figures and stuff. Um, so as we can see here, it's a collector's pack, which is something I'm, I'm quite pleased with. It's not just sort of, it's not just aimed at kids, it seems, the merchandising of this franchise, which is good. Um, I mean, you can get the battle packs, which is kind of Finn and Jake, uh... I think it's just Finn and Jake, maybe there's others as well. I'll just them in like action pauses for kids to play with um, and stuff. But these, as you can see, come with bases, so they are to be displayed, really. I'm sure you could play with them if you were that inclined. Um, also, on the back, as we can see, there's more stuff. So there's the battle pack. Um, as I said, in action pauses, you can battle things. There's the wizard pack which references that episode near the start of season one where they both earn stars and stuff uh, and powers and gladiator pack uh, i've not come across that part in the series yet but you know there are millions of episodes to watch and also there's the it advertises the five inch uh, finn and jake suit which i'm not gonna lie maybe i'm just not used to the series enough yet but that looks terrifying kind of looks like a mutant crab. I, I understand that, you know, Jake is there. Uh, he's pretty happy. Um, Finn, rather. Finn is there. Jake is the big mass of things. Also, the Beemo, uh face-changing figure. I've not seen much of Beemo so far, but he's adorable and one of my favourite side characters, I'd say. Although, fun fact... Look for this guy on eBay and Amazon, and it tends to be fetching a very, very high price at the moment. I don't know why. So, anyway, let's open these guys up, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, uh, and there's this backdrop that came with the set. I say it's backdrop, it's actually just a uh, piece of cardboard, as you can see. But, I thought I'd, you know, add it. So, yeah. These figures are definitely collectible, like things that are aimed at collectors rather than uh, little kids, and I will show you why. First off, they have a heavy feel to them. They're also made in, I want to say it's pretty detailed resin. Uh, maybe it's resin, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong stuff. Uh, Finn's carrying a walk money thing here. Uh, and it seems he doesn't actually have anything plugged in. Oh, wait, no, he does. To that side. Okay. It's pretty well painted. I mean, when you zoom up properly, it looks a bit rushed. You know, but uh, one of the reasons I realise this is definitely a collectible thing is the stand has one of these back things, which, if you ever collected Nendroids, or things like Nendroids, you'd know are the stands for them. Uh, I think you can probably take them off, these stands, but I'm very, very impressed they come with them. And, of course, the pride of the pack, I think, is Marceline. She looks definitely like a vampire queen. Her arm is as bendy as it is in the show. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. And her axe is actually sort of detailed-ish. Admittedly, it has no strings. So, here, it, well, you can sort of make up strings there, I guess. Um, she is more detailed, I'd say, than Finn, maybe. Maybe because she's more simplistic. 
but the paint application is wonderful which is very unique um, for two inches these are pretty detailed figures really and this is a very brief look at the backdrop you get there very Adventure Time-esque nothing on the back I'm afraid so yeah hmm no rating um, as for paint and sort of detailing, I'd give, I'd probably give Finn an 8 and Marceline a 9. Marceline seems slightly more detailed. Oh, actually there's a bit of black on her chin that makes her look like she's got a bit of facial hair there. Which is a bit odd. But, you know, she's got the holes on, I believe, the wrong side of her neck. But, uh, whatever. Maybe that's just, um, you know, fault of manufacturer or whatever. As for um, value, I would say they're reasonable, but not great. Maybe a 7, because I bought these for 9 99 For a pack of two figures, they're two inches high. That's not the best. But then, they are of better quality than I gave them credit for originally, so... I'd say maybe an 8. You can get them for cheaper online, I think. Although, when you combine post and packaging and stuff, it comes to roughly the same. I bought these in Toys R Us, but I'm sure there are other places that sell them. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is definitely a good start to my Adventure Time collection. Uh, as I said, Marceline's my favourite, so I'm glad I got her and Finn. I like musical related stuff as well, so the guitar is a nice addition to I don't actually have many figures that play instruments, come to think of it. So yeah, um I aim to get a few more sets, so I will likely make um a video on those when I get them. There's also a five inch, possibly larger um figure of Marceline, which I may get because has an interchangeable face apparently. So, until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Maybe subscribe for some more figure reviews if you like that kind of thing. Until next time, goodbye.